How's it going everyone? John here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to bring in the restream chat for everyone to see. There's different options with the restream chat, so I want to go ahead and create this video for you. But if you're wanting to learn more about restream, make sure you go ahead and take a look at the video in the card above and in the video description below to get you guys started. Once you guys have all your destinations and everything set up, then we can go ahead and get started with messing with some stuff with the chat. So there's a few things you can do. First thing, you're going to want to click on the three dots to open up this little window here so you can see things better. You're going to go over to chat and you're going to see that you can either download it for Windows or you can open it up in your browser. There's really not too much of a difference. It's more of a matter of preference when it comes to this, but I'm going to show you both. The, but the entire goal, though, is for us to be able to bring in the chat so that way people can see it. Now, what you're going to want to do in order to actually bring in the chat or at least to embed it into your stream is to click on the squares here, copy the link. You'll see this message up on the top there, and you're going to want to bring it into your encoder. Now, I'm using OBS Studio. It's going to be the same steps if you're using XSplit or if you're using Streamlabs OBS. What you're going to be wanting to use is a browser source. So go ahead and create your scene, and you're going to click on the plus, and you're going to go up to browser. You can give it a name and then click OK, and then you're going to get rid of this link, paste in the new link, and then just click OK. So now you should see something like this where it says that the chat is ready to display messages. So if I typed in here on Twitch and just said hi, now you can see that it also displays it here, and then it also displays it over here. So this is what you're trying to achieve. Now, if you're wanting to have multiple channels and everyone seeing all the information, then you're going to want to go into the actual chat application or the web browser application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this or minimize it real quick. And if you download the application for Windows, that's completely fine. If you open it up in your browser, it's going to just take up the entire page. So don't think that there's nothing there displaying. It's everything's right here for you. So so a few things about the actual chat window. The first thing, if you look over here on the bottom left corner, you have a you have a drop down arrow. So now you're able to see all three of the different places uh, or different options, not places, because technically you're only streaming to two. So restream, if you have it selected, it's going to show the messages for all of the places that you're streaming. If you do just Twitch or wherever you're streaming, it's only going to display just the stuff for Twitch and then for Mixer. So if I was to type only on Twitch and said hi, you're only going to see that it sent it over to Twitch. If I go over to Mixer and then I say hi over there, you're going to see that it's only going to send it over to Mixer. But if I have it on Restream and then I say hi, now you're going to see that it's been sent over to both. So any other messages that come through will all display on here because you have them all connected. So is really, like I said, a matter of preference because even with the actual application itself, so if I open this right here, as you can see, it's the exact same thing. You're seeing the exact same stuff. It's treated the exact same way with all this. Now the settings, the only thing that you have a difference in terms of settings is notifications, which really isn't that big of a deal. It's not the type of notifications that you're thinking of, like stream alerts or anything like that. Notifications is simply just going to be desktop notifications and tech to speech. So for your appearance, if you're really wanting to get into different stuff, like you can mess with like the compact mode, you can, you know, show the viewer count if you want to, you can show avatars, you know, you can kind of colorize the names if you want to, you can scale it to make it fatter if you need to or skinnier, you know, depending on how you want to put it, you can have it always on the top. You know, you can mess with all this stuff for the appearance. Now, for the background opacity, if you can see, you know, it's not really changing anything, but for like the messages and stuff like that, it will change that and everything. It just won't show it here in the preview, uh, but you'll see it when you're moving it around on the other parts of it. Now, if you want to embed it to the stream, here's a little bit more stuff that you can do with it. So you can have it where all these different themes you can kind of mess with. So like if you wanted an Overwatch theme, you could do something like that. If you wanted to have, you know, Rainbow Six, you could have something like this. I mean, there's a lot of customizations for it if you wanted to. Um, Minecraft, if you wanted it, something like that. So you do have a good handful of customizations for it. 
And then you can also mess with the alignment if you want it to be more on the top. If you want the background for the messages to be a little bit you know, more colored in or faded and stuff like that. So that way people can still kind of see the game behind it. You know, you guys can kind of mess with this. For the reply commands, if someone does like explanation point high or explanation point GT to get your gamer tag or something like that, they're basically commands. That's basically what they are. If you wanted to embed chat timers, timers are simply whenever we hit a certain amount of time in the stream or if there's a certain amount of um, lines that get put into the chat, it then displays one of these commands for you. So if you go into here, you can put it on repeat with timer. So every five minutes, this thing will pop up and everything like that in chat. And you can set this all the way for one hour. Now for the bot itself, relay mode is what you're gonna wanna have selected in order for all incoming chat messages from each platform to be displayed. So make sure that is selected whenever you are doing this for the chat and everything like that. Your analytics, that's just information that you guys can go over. It kind of gives you just all the data about the chats and the commands and everything like that. Discord, you can actually set it up to automatically share your actual restream chat directly into the Discord. And then they can also send messages from the Discord to the restream chat. That's pretty interesting. Filters, you can hide any of the chat bots. You can hide commands that start with explanation point, which usually a lot of them do. So it does make it easier for those reply commands to work because you do have to type the explanation point for it to actually show up. And then of course the about section, which is really that important. But like I said, there's, there's not too much of a difference between this version and then this version. Cause like I said, the only thing you don't have is the notifications, but you have everything else. So literally everything I just went over, you can go over into the settings on the actual browser version. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory to set up. It might seem a little intimidating at first, but it's a pretty handy tool. And I think this works a lot better than using like Streamlabs is, um, multi-stream. I've had a lot more issues with the multi-stream than I've had with just regular restream. The only downside to restream, and this is just a personal thing for me, is if you're wanting to stream to Facebook, it goes to your personal account. If you're wanting to stream to like an actual group or something, then you got to pay for it. And the price tag for it is ridiculous. I think that the price tag of only adding one extra donation for t or destination for $20 a month is just too high especially for people who are just beginning with streaming. So I wouldn't really worry about that so much. I would just kind of deal with the ones that are currently available for you guys for free. So all these ones above this blue box are all able to be added with no issue and you'll be able to restream to them. You'll be able to use the chat for them and everything like that. So I do like that they at least give you a good handful of ones to use. But hopefully this video was pretty helpful for you guys. If you have any questions about the Restream chat, please let me know in the comment section below. If I missed anything and you want to educate anybody else on some things, feel free to go ahead and do so. Let us all educate each other. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to go ahead, take a look at the other content on the channel. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe if you're enjoying the videos. And don't forget to click the bell icon. If you guys want to ever talk to me whenever I'm streaming, I'm over on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So be sure to go ahead and follow me over there as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and take care.